In Alien, Uncivil War, a science fiction horror tale by Brendan Deneen, the narrative is set against the backdrop of a universe already acquainted with the terror of the xenomorphs, the iconic and deadly creatures from the Alien franchise. The storyline interweaves the fates of diverse characters as they confront not only the relentless xenomorphs, but also the insidious workings of corporate entities that remain determined to harness these creatures for their own gain. The core of the story revolves around a group of survivors who are stranded on a forbidding and remote planet. Among these survivors are gritty marines, terrified civilians, and a corporate executive with dubious intentions named Elliot. Unbeknownst to most of the survivors, Elliot works for a powerful corporation that sees potential in using the xenomorphs as biological weapons. Amidst the struggle for survival, trust among the survivors is scarce, stirred by Elliot's secret communication with his corporate overseers and his hidden agenda. At the onset, the survivors are seeking shelter and resources, all while avoiding encounters with the xenomorphs. These creatures continue to exhibit their renowned brutality and resourcefulness, making any encounter with them deadly. As the group traverses the hazardous terrain, they discover that they are not alone. The planet, a grim and desolate wasteland, is also inhabited by a faction known as the Colonists. The Colonists are former prison inmates who have formed a self-sufficient society after their penal transport crashed on the planet many years ago. They are led by a formidable woman named Honor, who governs with an iron fist, maintaining order in the small, tight-knit community. Honor is skeptical of the newcomers, but recognizes that the presence of the Marines could bolster their defenses against the Xenomorphs. Meanwhile, the survivors grapple with internal and external threats. They are plagued by their traumatic experiences, haunted by past failures, and driven by personal vendettas. As they delve deeper into the planet's secrets, they learn of a research facility that may hold the key to their escape. The facility, run by the corporation responsible for the xenomorph outbreak on the planet, contains a spaceship that could offer a way off the treacherous world. Parallel to the survivor's plight is the narrative of the corporate machinations back on Earth. The corporation, led by cold and unfeeling executives, monitors the situation on the planet with ulterior motives. They see the colonists and marines as expendable variables in their larger experiments with the xenomorphs. Unrelentingly, they plan to send a recovery team to secure any corporate assets, including the valuable xenomorph specimens. The tension between the corporation's objectives and the survivor's desperate bid for survival takes center stage. Elliot's loyalty is tested as he contends with the moral implications of the corporation's sinister plans and his own survival instinct. His character becomes a pivotal point in the group's dynamic as his true alignment unfolds. Amidst the power struggles and hazardous environment, a large-scale chaotic fight between the survivors and the xenomorphs erupts. Fighting tooth and nail, the human contingent employs guerrilla warfare tactics, utilizing the environment and their ingenuity to counter the overwhelming predatory prowess of the aliens. The colonists and the marines, though distrusting each other at first, ultimately join forces, finding common ground in their shared goal of eradicating the xenomorph threat. As casualties mount, the survivors enact a plan to take control of the research facility and use its communication systems to call for help. With Elliot's knowledge and the collective efforts of the group, they are able to gain access to the facility. However, the facility is rife with dangers, including further encounters with xenomorphs and the remnants of the corporation's ominous experiments. The characters encounter several varieties of xenomorphs within the facility, including different evolutionary stages and mutations that had been subjects of the corporation's illegal bioweapons program. These proceedings highlight the corporation's disregard for ethical considerations in their pursuit of military and commercial supremacy. The creature's relentless nature and the corporation's recklessness combine to create a dire situation for everyone involved. Despite the odds, the survivors manage to send a distress call and a rescue operation is mounted. But the corporation, eager to capture live xenomorph specimens and silence any witnesses to their clandestine activities, sends a team with orders to recover the creatures and eliminate the survivors. A three-way conflict emerges among the corporation's operatives, 
the survivors, and the xenomorphs themselves, each faction with its own agenda and ferocity. While navigating the complex political landscape of corporate espionage, the survivors are also forced to confront their individual fears and doubts. Personal redemption arcs unfold as characters face past demons and reevaluate what they are fighting for. Elliot, torn between his duty to the corporation and his growing empathy for his fellow survivors, experiences a transformation as the horrors he witnesses persuade him to stand against his employers. The climactic battle sees the survivors leveraging both the facility's resources and the planet's hostile environment to outwit both the corporate operatives and the aggressive xenomorphs. Through strategic planning and heroic self-sacrifice, the marines and colonists manage to decimate many of the alien creatures and overcome the corporation's soldiers. However, their victory comes at a great cost, with numerous lives lost in the violent confrontation. In the aftermath of the battle, the remaining survivors confront the harsh reality that their efforts to signal for rescue were futile. The corporation, focused on concealment and denial, disavows the existence of the facility and the survivors' plight, leaving them stranded once more. The survivors are left to face the prospect of building a new life on the planet, integrating with the colonist community, and continuing their fight against the xenomorphs. Elliot, now more of an ally than an adversary, commits himself to the survivors' cause, aiding them in fortifying their defenses and preparing for future onslaughts. Together, they accept the likelihood that their battle against both the xenomorphs and the corrupt corporate entity will be an ongoing struggle one that will demand perseverance and unshakable unity if they are to have any hope of surviving in this uncivil war. In the end, Alien Uncivil War presents a harrowing tale of survival, corporate greed, and the ceaseless fight against the omnipresent threat of the xenomorphs. The story underscores the enduring themes of human resilience, the fierce instinct for survival, and the moral complexities that arise when faced with extraordinary circumstances. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.